it looks like our Eleanor saga is not over. Oh, so last night, after I posted the vlog, Ella's eye, I noticed, started puffing back up a little bit. And it continued to puff up some. Now, when she was under anesthesia yesterday, Dr. Murphy opened her mouth, looked up into her cavities, tried to look everywhere to see if there was some sort of hole that was making it leak air up into the eye socket. She didn't see anything, but we were both afraid that this might actually refill. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's very slow, very, very slow. She's got just a teeny tiny little bump of an eye socket. So, if it continues and it actually gets worse, we will be going back to the doctor and they will be scheduling her for a surgery. She's afraid she has a fistula in there that is leaking air back into the eye socket because there's no eyeball in it. It's just an eye socket. So, Ella's surgery fiasco may not be at its end yet. In other positive news, right now I'm heading out. I've got to go by the bank and get some money. I've got to get Olivia breakfast. Yay. I have had my yogurt this morning. I have a protein shake with me for later. My water's with me. And we are going to pick up Becky. Because Becky is going to go with us. I'm going to Sam's Club and I'm stocking up on food and household supplies so that when I'm down for surgery, one of you all gave me like the best suggestion and I don't have my phone open right now where I can read it and I don't remember the name, but whoever you are, thank you for reminding me and that's such a great idea, but I'm going today to get paper plates, paper towels, paper bowls, forks, spoons that are plastic, plastic cups, so John doesn't have a ton of dishes and honestly, while I'm down, I don't have to worry about dishes. So we're going to Sam's Club, doing some other stuff. I don't know what else we're doing with Becky. I don't know. There's no telling. So let's head out. So while I'm fixing my hair, Becky, tell them what it is that you are after today. Like we're on a special mission. This is not just going shopping. I need a young coconut. Now, she texts me at 424 this morning to tell me that we need to look for a young coconut. And why do you need a young coconut? Because I'm gonna eat it. And I'm gonna drink the water out of it. Okay, so a young coconut is different from the regular coconuts. An old coconut, I guess. But like, the she old- likes them young. The old coconuts are like this. They're, 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 they're brown, brown and they're brown. And then the young coconuts are like this big and they're green. And they chop them down to like a little, a little cylinder type shape, and it's white. Yeah. And then you crack it open, and you like gotta gotta be real easy with it because it's in a ball. The meat is a ball, and then you you get that out, but you gotta like I don't really know how to get it open. I've watched YouTube videos on trying to learn how, and I can't figure out how. But you gotta. You got to get all that hard stuff off, and then when you get down to the 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 softer part, you got to peel it, and then it comes out in a ball. And then you pick a, poke a straw in it and drink the water out, and then you can eat the meat. And it's have supposed you, to be sweeter. Have you ever had coconut, like the coconut meat? Yes. And you like it? Uh huh. Okay. But um, this one is supposed to be softer than like the other coconuts and sweeter. Now she don't just come up with this crazy stuff by herself it's those stupid videos those asmr videos if i loves. watch them eat something i'm like i have to have that that's how she like, got into octopus i go to the uh what is that store called sunrise market i go there all the time because she goes to like an a, asian grocery store and it stinks <laughs> so that she can <laughs> it stinks so bad and dodge is like i wouldn't eat nothing to come out of here and i'm like i am <laughs> Such a weirdo. Oh my gosh. I got to tell you about this. I got this little, um, it's called a moon cake. And they have like a moon cake festival in Thailand. And they make these little moon cakes. And they had, they're about this big. And one of them, I found one at the, the store. It was shaped like a pig. <laughs> and it was disgusting. <laughs> Pretty sure that we were not going to find a, a young coconut in Sam's Club. But now we are at an Asian market. 
since it's Asian video shoe watches because she's convinced she's gonna find one. She gotta have it. She gotta have it. Yeah. Oh my god. Fresh young coconut. I'm getting two. Your day is made. Yes. <laughs> well, what if you don't like it? I don't care. Hey, look at these. These. Are, this is called rainbow tan. Yeah. Have you ever ate this? Uh, God knows. <laughs> okay, so you pop it open and it's kind of like a grape on the inside. Ew. You don't eat this. This hairy Heavy. stuff. You know, <gasps> There's those eggs. <gasps> We're gonna pretend like we don't know what that is and we're gonna pretend like, oh look, you've got my quail eggs here. Did you know that there are videos online of people that will buy quail eggs in the grocery store, take them home, put them in the incubator, and every so often one of them latch? Really? Yeah. Wait, which one do you think is your good Do I get to eat it? I guess. I'm so excited. So when I walked past this, we're right here. What do you think the first thing I thought it said was? <laughs> it's a kitten. It's a cooked kitten. <laughs> what, what is that? The crap. African eggplant. I don't know, but it freaked me out. I was like, are we serious? <laughs> so, so far, we went to Sam's Club. Didn't film in there because it was a little hectic in there. Then we went to the Asian market. That was fun. <laughs> I was very overwhelmed by all this stuff and I kept seeing things and I was like, how do you cook this? And I would look at it like an idiot. I continued to try to look at the back for directions. But some of it had American. Some of it had English. Yeah, yeah. I know some had English, but most does not. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I'm just winging it. And she, look at her stupid coconut. This I is, bought two. This is all she was worried about is that coconut. We stopped and got Libby something to eat, and we both ate a little bit of something. Yes, I ate food. By food, you I mean... You can't hear the liquid in it. By food, I mean two... I like a double cheeseburger from McDonald's with no bun, no onions, no pickle, no nothing. But I told her I wouldn't eat, but she... And she ate chicken nuggets. <laughs> but I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't have ate if she couldn't have ate, because I know I've been there. How hard it is? Yeah, it stinks. I'm going to do it next week. Well, no believe it or not, the nutritionist told me the way, the reason that they set it up so hard like that is so that you'll follow it the best you can. Uh -huh. But they also take that, the reason they do it like that is they take into consideration that people are going to cheat repetitively. Oh, yeah. She was like, people cheat. She was like, she, they, they totally expect for you to do like a couple of full out cheat meals. But I, I've not. I've had like grilled chicken twice I had that hamburger just now and then once I had four ounces of steak and nothing else but just steak salt and pepper uh -huh. so I don't really feel like that that's a huge no. cheat so I cheated cheap. okay my second day I decided <laughs> second it was day. it was my my nephew Waylon's birthday party and I was like Cheat okay cake. no I ate everything oh <laughs> I ate barbecue I ate cake I ate everything and i've been good so far this is day seven day well, i just eight. had to do it for two weeks but after that day i was seven. i didn't cheat no more yeah today's day seven for me and but it was just two days in so. yeah today's day seven and i'm not and i've got a whole month yeah so I'm, even if i cheated like for real cheated a couple of times i think as anything. long as you do it good on the last week you're fine. fine yeah pro tip do your best on the last week. The rest of it really don't matter. <laughs> that one, that's the same thing that you have at home. Ooh, look. Olivia. Put it in there. Okay. This one smells good. No, we're not getting everything to touch. So, we, we went to Walmart already, and now we're going into a Hispanic grocery store. Love, la la pizza. Don't even try it. <laughs> so, she has her freaking young coconut, and after how long did it take you? You've been working for about 10 minutes trying to bust this thing open. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Did you get it open? <laughs> You're so weird. 
But, like, the goal was for her. That is really good. Here, now this is the meat. It's weird. That's weird. It's slimy. Mm -hmm. Was it? I don't really have a taste. Yeah, it, there's no taste to it. It's just like if I had, it's like eating rubber. It is like I wanted to get all of this off to eat the to, slime ball to get the ball out because the whole ball in here you can you can get it all out and it'll stay in a ball and you can eat the ball, but I don't think it would be worth it. Now you know, Becky wants to eat balls. So she wanted to try these tapioca pearls, but I don't think it turned out right. And nope, they're it didn't. kind of. If John's seen this, he would have a stroke. He's one of those people that if he sees like evenly spaced holes or little balls of there's stuff a, like that, there's a phobia it's like he that. has that phobia. Do you remember when we showed him that? Mexican candy where you squeeze it and it came out and he was like, I will punch everyone at this table. He was not joking. He would punch you if you came at him with it. Really? Yeah, it freaks him out. An update on the weird food. This thing is actually fantastic. I ate it. It tastes exactly like a grape. John almost ate them all. Becky left them for us to eat. They're so good. This is actually like a super sweet, super soft, I would say green grape, like a green one. Um, let me show you Ella's eye. So as you see, it's puffing it back up again. So um, I'm gonna call the vet next week and we're gonna set up an appointment um, for her to be looked at and hopefully they're gonna figure out what's causing it. It's 90%, 99% sure that it's gonna be a surgery to fix it. So. so also at Sam's Club, I was really excited because with the surgery that I'm having, it requires you to have more vitamin A, D, E, and K. And I found huge vitamin Ds and huge vitamin Es. They don't have A and K. I had to get those at Walmart, but I was able to find those. So I have all my vitamins. I'm suited up, ready to go. Let me show you this that I got out of the cabinet. So I've been drinking those vanilla protein shakes. I tried the raspberry in it. What a huge fan. Tried the caramel in it. I like it pretty well this oh my god this is like a game changer this is the best protein shake i've ever had so get a premier protein the vanilla and get this oh my sweet heavenly lord it was so good it was the best i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this i enjoyed it i had a great time with becky today i'm really tired i'm cooking dinner and then i'm gonna eat me some uh tomato soup so until tomorrow love you bye